Close the window. Yeah. That's it. Oh, God, didn't. Fantastic. Sunday and Sundays are a day of rest but not an E5. Um, I am currently driving across country to go to Birmingham Airport and at Birmingham Airport I should be meeting up with other E5 guys and uh, flying across um, Europe for one day uh, to do some uh, factory witnessing uh, tests uh, and independent due diligence on arc fault detection devices. Yeah, this should be really good. So, here we come. Vienna, Austria, and we can finally reveal where we are. We are, we're at Eton. I can't read that either, but I know the logo. So we're gonna look at AFDDs. Let's see what they do. factory and we've got a recognizable case which allows us to do some demonstrations so we're going to do some demonstrations and cut to the close-up footage of what we do so power supply in into fuse yep we have an mcb yep okay so what we're going to do is the mcb then goes through feeds into here out through there so we're going to switch the load on at the moment so what we have is a lamp on and there's a heater on so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very slowly start to create an arc. You see there's an arc generating. But as you can see, the circuit breaker stays off. Okay, out on, so that's not good. Right, we go to RCD. Switch the RCD on. I don't run. So I'll press start again. So we're now running on a full heater load. And we're currently pulling, it's about seven and a half amps. Too much there. Oh, I think that's just cut out. Yeah, let's try that again. It's very, very delicate. This. So on an RCD. So you can see there's an arc. Eventually, it cuts out from the probe from the arc in. Right. So, but the RCD is still on. So we trip out the RCD. We'll flick it over to AFDD. FDD's on, so we'll press start again. Okay, so screw it okay. out. Seven and a half amp. Screw it up there. Instantaneous. Away. Instantaneous. Next additional test. We're now going to do the RCB component of the AFDD. <clears throat> so we'll start it. It's now on AFDD. You can see the flags, and now we're just going to twist it up. 
go up to 20 milliamp. Trips. We've just proven the device is there. Yeah. So let's boot it up. Now it's the white flag. Which is now blue. Which is the LCD trip circuit. For an AFDD trip, it does colour flashing. Let's load on. So series arc. Ready? Yep. One arc. One. 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 So you've just seen the video of the Eaton test rig. Um, we put it through its paces quite a bit. There's a longer version than that. Uh, we managed to get into their R&D lab, but we couldn't actually to do any filming because of obviously the confidentiality of it. Um, Paul, what, what did you get from that? Because there were some simple principles we learned. There was, there was. That uh, We've got to see the right signature. So it's the right current and voltage which gives us the right pattern for the right time to give us a dangerous arc energy and then the device will recognize that there's a hazardous arc and disconnect. So we're going to do another video where we're going to, we're going to try and create some very simple rule of three principles in uh, how these devices provide what I would consider additional additional protection, protection from arcs. Uh, it's kind of weird because we look for short duration trips whereas this delays so that it can measure that arc to ensure it's getting the right trip rather than false tripping. So there's quite a shift in the mindset there is, there is, for the definitely. user. So there's a lot more learning and development and training, but we'll get back to you with some more training content as soon as we have it. And we've, we've started on it, but uh, it will take a bit of time. So um, in the meantime, thanks for watching guys. Take care. Cheers.